we like the most, of course, is the freedom and democracy. Davy and Krista Lau are among the 103,000 Hong Kongers who have settled across the UK under the British National Overseas Visa Program, which offers them a pathway to citizenship. It's a fresh new start here. We need to learn everything, like the language, the culture. The British government rolled out the scheme in 2021 after China imposed a sweeping national security law on Hong Kong. Hong Kong changed a lot. Yeah, I can't believe it. when maybe sometimes we are just reading the news, but it's terrible. Yeah, and this is not the Hong Kong that I know. The Laos started their new life in the city of Sheffield, running a dessert takeaway chain. They say their income now is a fraction of what they made in Hong Kong. I think in Hong Kong, we are just focusing on earning money. We live to work. <laughs> but in here, more relax, less pressure, and we spend more time in family. It's a totally different lifestyle. According to an official survey, a large majority of the Hong Kong arrivals hold university degrees and had worked in professional jobs. Maybe they have lots of uh, talents and experience, but it's really different from UK. Maybe this is a really difficult for them to find a job. Though millions of Hong Kongers are eligible for the visa, the young people born after 1997 were left out of the program, and many of them took part in the pro-democracy protests. Former protester He Yenong fled to the UK on his own seven months ago, as he feared arrest at home. Under now the BNU scheme, I can't apply if my relative, like mom and dad, are not being with me in UK. So I, I can't apply for a BNO. The way I can only go to is the asylum scheme. Among the few belongings he packed for his journey to the UK was a letter from his mother. Hay is running out of money and places to stay. I have been to Oxford, I have been to Nottingham, I have been to London, and I will go to Manchester for leaving, and I have moved for four times in half a year. I would say it is really tired and, uh, and struggling to find some place to live. In February, the UK government outlined plans to widen the program. Those born after 1997 and have one eligible BNO parent would be able to apply for the visa independently. I'm happy to see it and it is good to know that UK government are going to help us. However, he said young people like him need more financial support to pay the NHS and visa fees, which cost nearly £2,000. Most of us are below 23 years old. Most of us need education. If we are not well educated or not having some skills, we are not eligible to find a job. I am not feeling hopeless because they still got hope. And I think uh, in in our daily life, hope is very important. I'm really, um, really looking forward to my university life. When I want to move to UK, my father really supportive. Uh, he, he said, just go, just go with your kids and your family. There are lots of freedom, you need to enjoy your freedom. 